Hey, hello guys, Survival Technology here. Hey, today we're going to talk about the Man Portable Expedition Pack. This will be part one in a series. With the Man Portable Expedition Pack, I'll be able to hike in to remote summits or peaks, other locations, uh, stay there for several days, and be completely self contained. The expedition pack includes uh, field radio equipment, it includes stove and cooking gear sleeping and camping gear, as well as solar power. In the large lower compartment we have uh, radio gear as well as uh, batteries. The radio for the expedition pack is the Yaesu FT-817ND and that's housed in an admin pouch along with the, its counterpoise and all uh, other equipment needed for it. We put that inside of a waterproof aqua pack to ensure that the radio isn't uh, doused with water or anything like that. The battery at the moment is a uh, sealed lead acid battery, 12 volt, 7 amps, and uh, it's also housed in its own little admin pouch. It also has a uh, charge controller in that admin pouch. Along with the radio and battery, we also keep an interface and a Tupperware container. We keep a couple of basic tools, the antennas, a tri-band amateur radio, mobile-linked APRS tracker with the ocean radio. In the main compartment we have the 13-watt uh, solar briefcase featured in a couple of my other videos. We're going to replace that one for this expedition pack. It's a little bit too wide and a little bit too heavy, although if I can reduce the weight in other places I might go ahead and use it. It has a hard shell case around it protecting the solar panels uh, when they're in the pack and uh, it doesn't take up very much space. That's something to think about. So here's just about everything. You see we've got uh, the FT817 ND, we've got the ATA, uh, sorry, ATX walkabout antenna. Now uh, we've got the uh, mobile link and uh, ocean radio for APRS. We have the uh, tri-band uh, Yaesu VX5R for uh, local comms. Uh, next to that we've got the uh, tri-band an antenna for the FT817. Uh, for 6 meters, 2 meters, and 70 centimeters. Next to that one, we have a Yezu ATAS 100 for 80 through uh, 2 meters. In the Tupperware container, we have the Wolfie Link interface for digital uh, uh, digital modes on HF. Uh, in the bag behind that, uh, we have the uh, battery and charge controller. Uh, behind that, you see we have the uh, Hull T Base 80 uh, Expedition Pack. Next to that, we have the 13-watt uh, foldable solar panel. Uh, we also have there a uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 8.9 for digital modes. Uh, when it's raining, I usually use the uh, smaller mobile phone right in front of it. It's a uh, Samsung Galaxy hardcover. It's waterproof and shockproof uses the same Wolfie interface. Uh, under that I have my uh, logbook, although sometimes I use the tablet for the logbook. And uh, that's about it. Stay tuned for part two where we'll go through the camping gear and, and other things like that. Please remember to like and share and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. Rock and roll. Ciao.